2003-2004 fifth grade continuation celebration. This morning we celebrate the successful completion of the elementary years. We will share some memories, some parting words, listen to beautiful music, and send our fifth graders on to middle school. Ladies and gentlemen, parents, teachers, and guests, it is my pleasure to present the Foothills 2003-2004 fifth graders, the class of 2011. share with you some information about you, the class of 2011. 72 of you answered the survey for us, and here are the results. Did you know that 31 of you started kindergarten here at Foothills? That's about 44%. 13 of you were new to Foothills this year. 39 of you were born in Colorado. Others were born in different places, such as Germany, Italy, and at least 12 other states. We asked you what things you liked most about Foothills, and you answered, people care, and we have a bond. Most people include everyone in everything. The teachers care about us, and I feel safe. We also liked the special projects like colonial buildings, field day and having good friends. You would change the lunch menus and food, no monthly home reading calendar, <laughs> have a morning and afternoon recess, and some of you would change nothing at all. The advice you give students coming to Foothills is you will love this school, Foothills is great, when things are hard, keep going and it will get better. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Everyone is friendly. Ask kids to play and relax. And don't eat the food. <laughs> the things that you were the most proud of this year are good grades, growth in writing and math, book of poems, colonial store, friends, and growth in self-discipline. Your eagle view worries include 
not fitting in with new kids and a new school, not getting to class on time, being too late to class, lockers, homework, and no recess. Do you remember these? The musicals that you have performed. The first grade program, the Christmas program. In second grade, Feather Scales and Furry Tales. Third grade, An American Tribute. Fourth grade, Colorado Comes a Calling. And fifth grade, We Have Jazz. One of our favorite continuation traditions is the sharing of student essays. What Foothills means to me. We will hear three of these essays this morning. The first essay will be read by Matt Hurd from Ms. Sobieski's class, followed by Janae Johnson from Ms. Peters' class. At the Foothills of Life, I began my journey six years ago. I stood in front of Ms. Kocheski's classroom looking in with excitement. Kindergarten helped me plot my future in elementary school. It was here that I made most of my lifelong friends. I pretty much learned all I needed to know in life in kindergarten. My mom has a shoebox of little staple books that I made. At first the pictures were scribbled on, but by the end they were vivid works of art. The next two years at Foothills were full of challenges and exciting events. I was lucky to have the same teacher, Mrs. Whipple, through first and second grade. I began to have official recess. Reading and math became serious business. I would write in a math book and begin to get AR points. The accelerated reader program helped me learn to read with regularity. Being in the same class for two years meant we were like a family. We had classroom parties and I felt like I was starting to be in the big time. I remember feeling proud standing up for awards and pride assemblies. One great feature of the Foothills Strategic Educational Plan is the field trips. During first and second grade, I got to travel by bus to the zoo and Bear Creek Nature Center. The third grade field trip I enjoyed most was the one to the Sky Sox game. Third grade brought a whole new assortment of activities. Mr. Sampson led us through intramural sports, which included soccer, mat ball, basketball, and volleyball. These games were fun and I never wanted to miss one. It was a hard lesson at times, but we learned good sportsmanship. Starting in third grade, field day now felt like a real competition. There were dashes, jumps, and throws, and all kinds of outdoor activities, all made possible because of Mr. Sampson and great parent helpers. When I was in my fourth grade year, I felt like I was in a dream class. During this year, a new wave crossed over my friends and me. It was football. We played this every recess. It's great to have a park by our school. A yo-yo master then came and showed us his talented yo-yoing abilities. He even sold yo-yos at our school. After that, everyone you saw had a yo-yo. During my career at Foothills, I got the chance to be in TAG. TAG stands for Talented and Gifted. My TAG group was an important part of my fourth and fifth grade year. I felt privileged and happy to be in this class. Throughout my Foothills filled life, I've had many chances, but most of them came in fifth grade. I had a chance to be in a choir and travel around to bring other people the joy of seeing and perform in many meaningful plays. When asked, what does Foothills mean to you, I can only reply, it means a place where kindness, generosity, friendship, and sharing of knowledge are shown daily. I am sorry to say goodbye, but I feel I have been well prepared for middle school. The main reason for this is my fifth grade teacher, Ms. Sobieski. She treated us like young adults and was, al and was always fair to each student. I learned to become more responsible. She was funny at times, too. I will be attending Eagle View a few short blocks away, but a part of me will always remain at Foothills. Foothills Friends Forever. The first day of Foothills Elementary seemed very difficult to me. I was shy and not ready to meet new people. Everything was so different than being at home with my little sisters. I wondered if I was really ready to meet new people and start a new school. It all seemed to change with my first grade teacher, Mrs. Hoyfel. Wow, what a lady. 
She made me feel like I, I was someone important and that I belonged to the best class in the school. It was in Ms. Hoyle's class that I met somebody very important to me, Lori Arcady. She was, she, me and her had a lot in common. She very quickly became my best friend. For the next two years, Lori and I did lots of things together. Fortunately, I was able to have Ms. Hoyle for second grade too. In third grade, Lori moved away. I again had a very wonderful teacher. Her name was Ms. Forzande. Like my other teachers, my teacher, her, she cared about me and I liked her. She always had a smile on her, on her face. I remember that we used to call her forgetful Forzande. She would always forget things. Um, and she, when she wanted to remind herself to do something, she would turn her ring upside down. Ms. Forzani was a wonderful teacher and a good friend to me. In the winter of 2003, somebody very important to me and my family passed away. Ms. Brown, she helped me and my older brothers when they attended Foothills. She always made me feel like I could believe in myself, even though my struggles with reading. Even today, I can remember her words, her willingness to help me improve, and her big hugs in her penny jar. But most of all, I will always remember and love what she gave to me. She gave me confidence to know that things would work out and that I would succeed in whatever I tried to do, even though it was hard. In fourth grade, I again met a very good friend of mine. Her name was Lauren Gerhardt. She seemed to be a lot like me, and we became very good friends right away. In fourth grade, schoolwork was very hard for me, but with good friends, good teachers, and family, I was able to do well. I grew a lot in fifth grade, probably more than I have ever before, and I think most of the reason was because of my fifth grade teacher, Ms. Peters. Ms. Peters was able to challenge me and help me to grow more than ever before. She helped me know my strengths so I could overcome my weaknesses. This helped me believe in myself and to try out for new things. It allowed me to try out and make honor prior and to obtain a solo in a school play. All these things have given me great confidence and allowed me to grow socially and academically. Foothills has been a part of my life and my family's life for many, many years. I have had teachers who have helped me to know who I am, who I have, who have helped me to learn and grow beyond my own abilities, and perhaps most important teachers who have cared for me and assured me that things were going to be okay. I've also had principals like Mr. Davis and Mrs. Burgos who have taken the time to know who I was and took in the time to say hello to me in the hallways or in my classroom. And I will always remember Ms. Stiles, Mr. Sampson, Mr. Burnett, Mr. Valdez, Ms. Lavella, and Ms. Killick for all they've done for me. I will always look forward to going to their class classrooms and learning new things. I will always remember the teachers, the friends, and the examples that have that I have had at Foothouse because they have helped me to become the student that I am. Part of our entertainment this morning will be several musical offerings from the fifth grade class. Their first selections will be Gonna Rise Up Singing and Precious Friends.
essay is by Brian Galston from Mrs. Minnenhaus class. The school where dreams come true. When I think of photos, I think of the journey the frog must take, going through many stages of development, and finally coming out as a frog that moves from water to land. Grade school was a similar journey for myself. In kindergarten, I was a newborn tadpole, always swimming around and thinking I was king of the world. Life was exhilarating, and especially with Mrs. Tannehill, she was the most fun-loving teacher in the world. She was always showing us the bright side. I'll never forget Mrs. Tannehill. My next stage of development was first grade. Miss Anderson was my teacher. At that stage, she was kind, but she showed us that we do have to actually work. I was no longer a tadpole, so I had a little more discipline. Over the summer, Miss Anderson got married and was kind enough to invite her whole class from last year to her wedding. During this stage, our class traveled around the world and learned exciting things about other places in the world. Third grade was a very challenging year for me. Not only did I have another new teacher, but I also had two teachers, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. This was my next stage to becoming a land animal. Miss Snyder and Mrs. Park were phenomenal teachers and taught me many interesting and useful things. In fourth grade, Miss Kaiser was my teacher and also my former tennis instructor. It was very cool to already know your teacher on that scary first day of school. This stage in my growth to becoming a frog was a difficult one because I was beginning to tag. Fortunately, tag was not as hard as I thought. Doors were open for me that were locked closed before. So my hand is off to Ms. Nor Mrs. Norquist and Mrs. Rowe. They have been my tag teachers over these last two years. The year I, the year I had almost become a full-fledged frog was fifth grade. That year, Mrs. Mendenhall was my teacher. She was kind and knew when to be serious. She played fun games with us and made learning interesting. I will definitely miss her. I am a full-grown frog now, and I'm getting ready to go on land. But I don't want to leave the water. I like swimming around. To me, fiddles is the water. I always having two recesses, and always having someone to talk to. The teachers have been great. The specials were always a play. The thing that I will miss the most is probably going to be Mr. Sampson, our PE teacher. He would always let me slip through the cracks. Fiddles is a fantastic school. For now, I must continue my journey toward land and middle school. But I shall never forget Fiddles, and it will always be a part of me. Fifth grade students, today you leave childhood behind. But remember in your journeys to carry with you for all time the memories of your years here at Foothills. Tomorrow you begin your transition years, those special years you have towards adulthood. From all of us here at Foothills, we hope that we've given you the confidence the guidance, and the strong foundation for you to go forth to make your dreams come true, make a positive impact on the world, and most importantly, seek to find personal fulfillment and true happiness. The ABCs of achievement for the very special young person going forth from Foothills. A, attitude, the foundation the mark of you, keep yours positive. B, belief. Your unique and talented self, you are special. C, courage. To try and to keep trying until you achieve, achieve your goals. D, discipline. It pays off in results, you must have it. E, enthusiasm. Make it a part of you and share it with others. F, fun. It has to be there for meaningful results. Enjoy the new middle school years and make them fun. G, goals. Your success targets aim higher and then higher. H, hope. The magic ingredient that sparks you into positive action. 
I initiative. Do it now because it pays off in results. It is determination in action. J, just honorable and fair. Expected in others, be just in all your dealings and actions. K, knowledge. Continue to work hard to acquire it, but most of all, use it. L, love in all that you do because love must set the pace. M is motivation, <coughs> motivation. That which forces you into action, it must be self-motivation for achievement. N is for negatives, avoid them, all negatives. Keep them out of your environment, especially negative people. O is for optimism. Think you can because you can. P is for practice. To succeed, you must practice, practice, practice. Q is for quality and quantity, the twins of achievement. Use them as your calling cards as a person. R, responsibility, doing the right thing because it is the right thing to do. S. Self-esteem, a positive self-image is priceless. Work on yours. T, toughness, mental and physical. They are an unbeatable combination, go for it. U, understanding, know your strengths and weaknesses and then accentuate the positives. B, virtue, the quality of a moral excellence. It must be number one in your living philosophy. W, winning. Your reward for hard work and a positive attitude. X is for the extra mile. Not to achieve without it, you have to hustle. Y is for you the most important ingredient in your success. Z is for zest and your go power. Turn it on. And remember, if it is to be, it is up to me. <laughs> now we will have a special musical number dedicated to one of our retiring teachers. Ms. Sobieski, would you please step forward? reflect and enjoy the slideshow which will highlight your special fifth graders and his and her classmates. Thank you. 
like to give a special thank you to our musicians this morning, Robbie Dale Nelson on piano, <laughs> Mr. Burnett and Senor Valdez on the piano. of this year's fifth grade class singing Born to be a Winner.
your back. Jeremy Bird. Katie Blanchard. John Garrison. <laughs> Brian Gelston. <laughs> Holly Giles. <laughs> Sam Bruneville. Trevor Heitzman. Lexi Hicks. Alice Johnson. Mackenzie Krabs. Jessica Lauer. John Mark. Taylor Martin. Catherine Powers. Michelle Thirsty. Olivia Arns. <laughs> Rebecca Bartlett. <laughs> Stephen Broom. <laughs> Nathan Corwin. Lexi 
Betsy Tatum. Dominique Wright. Taylor Bradshaw, Sarah Branch, Brendan Davis, Tyler Draves, Sarah English. Trevor Fry, Lauren Gearhart, Charity Harrison, Haley Helm. Josh Honnold. <laughs> Matt Hurd. <laughs> Sebastian Lawrence. Kelly Passmore. Anna Pena. Leticia Robredo. Joe Smith. Valdespino, <laughs> Justin Vandenberg, <laughs> Zachary Zorowitz,